with an SML reaction, and we are back with summer school. Yes, sir. If you guys got to enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe, and channel as always. Um, dude, I am just like so excited for summer school. Like, you have no idea, bro. This series is the best, and I'm, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. So, yeah, I'm excited to see all the faces. Mikey, Freddy, Mrs. Thicks, Patrick, everyone, bro. If you guys got to enjoy, please like, subscribe. Channel. As always, if you're new here, subscribe. Let's go. Hey, guys, hey, guys, what's your favorite color crayon? Mine's cotton candy. <laughs> Mine's eggplant. What's that? A wiener joke in the first 10 seconds? Oh, Cody, you naughty dog. Ooh, look at this one, piggy pink. I didn't know your mom's skin color was a crayon, Cody. Shut up, Junior. My mom's not a piggy, Junior. Hey, Joseph, what's your favorite crayon color? Cotton candy's the best. Oh, bro, can I borrow that, right, please? Sure. Ah, oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> What are you gonna do about a punk cry? Yeah! <laughs> I also like being loud. Cody's mom's a piggy! Cody's mom's a piggy! Holy hell, if I was Mrs. Fitzpatrick, I'd kill myself if I heard all that when I walked in a crowd. Everyone, shut up, you stupid brats! Because of you, I'm stuck in this hellhole all summer long! So today, I'm gonna make you suffer. So get out a piece of paper, and I want you to write, I ruined Mrs. Fitzpatrick's summer. I'm sorry for being so dumb 10,000 times! When that hand starts to hurt, switch to the other hand. When that hand starts to hurt, switch again. When both hands are hurting, use your mouth to write. And if you complain once, you are starting all over. I'll be over here scrolling on it. Damn, dude. Uh, I don't think that's going to make anything better for you. Uh, damn, that is, that is brutal. I'm wishing I was someone else. <sighs> <laughs> what could? Damn, Junior. Who, who pissed in her frosted flakes? <laughs> Cody, a thousand more times! Show them a fuck. Get my ass, Junior. <laughs> what? <laughs> who whacked off in her cocoa puffs? <laughs> That's it! Cody, Junior, Joseph, Mikey, a thousand more times for all of you! Damn, Cody, man. Cody. Oh. Ooh, she wrecked her ass. All right, Cody, stop. Yeah, bro, chill out. You're going to get us in more trouble. <laughs> Yo, why is Cody like this, dude? But I love it, man. Hey, Junior, Junior. No, stop. Joseph, Joseph. Dude, chill. Mikey, I do make my Mikey. No. <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway. Who took a shit in her cinnamon toast crunch? <laughs> <laughs> Not the pet. Bro had a plan all along, man. He had that fucking plan in mind, oh, bro. Wait, he fucking knew, oh, dude. Oh, no. Please don't spank me with a pedal. And whatever you do, please don't call me a dirty little boy. And please don't pull my hair. Come on, teach. Spank them cheeks. Cody! Yes, sir? Ow! What the fuck? That wasn't hot at all. It just hurt. Don't talk back to me. Oh, shit. Okay, I won't. Does anybody else? Damn, guys, I think she should be fired. That was messed up. I mean, a regular spanking would be cool, but she hit me in the face. Don't worry, Cody. My dad's done worse to her with his fist. They're not going to fire her for hitting you, Cody. Principal Steinbeck likes violence. Yeah, you're right. We should try to make her quit. She wants to quit. She doesn't have enough money to quit. Ooh, well, I do have this prank lottery ticket that makes it look like you won the lottery when you scratch it off. Maybe if I give it to her and she thinks she won the lottery, she'll decide to quit. <gasps> that would be so funny if you did that. No, bro, and that's probably why David Winkle comes in. After that, bro, nah, dude, that's that's brutal, bro. That yeah, dude, is... that's a smart idea. Okay, I'll go tell her I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Fitzpatrick. What do you want, Cody? You want another one? No, uh, I just wanted to apologize for making you angry. See, my parents buy all these scratch-offs and I steal them, so I just wanted to give you one to make it up to you. Oh, well, I do have a gambling addiction. Oh, I love scratch-offs. Thank you, Cody. Well, I hope you win big. I have a feeling you might. Thank you, Cody. Go sit down and finish your assignment. I have okay, a feeling you might. Make sure you give me a big old yippee ki -yay. Go sit down, Cody. Okay. Where's a quarter? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Class! Class! I just want to be A million dollars a week? Bro, it should be like, nah, what the hell? Nah. Now 
I feel bad. She's so happy, and when she finds out it's fake, she's gonna be depressed. It's okay, Cody. Everyone needs a little bit of happy. Mikey got a personal invitation to fuck off, bro. That is insane, bro. In life, even if it's fake. I hope she doesn't say anything mean to my dad. He'll beat him. Do we have to stay in school now that we don't have a teacher? No, I think we can go home. <laughs> oh, I'm angry. Oh, oh. I am not in a good mood, no sir, no sir, Bob. Because your old teacher, Mrs. Fitzpatrick. Oh, what's the worst to describe her? I don't want to be too rude. I'm in front of children. Um, she's a loyal bitch for wanting to quit because she won the lottery. Can you believe it, guys? Oh, the money controls her. <laughs> That's sad. And she said some very, very mean things, a little bit on the racial side. <sighs> but I'm not gonna judge her. Don't know on how she was On the racial raised. side. Oh, but you guys, you guys, you thought that summer school was going to be over because you didn't have a teacher, huh? <laughs> Stupid! Because <laughs> I found a teacher just walking around outside. <laughs> how convenient, right? Mm, perfect timing. Yeah, his name is Mr. Blinkle. Oh, come on in, Mr. Blinkle. Introduce yourself. Hey there, beautiful kids. Yeah, he enjoys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. No. No. Guys, can you believe it? He begged for the job, cried for it. Weird, weird as hell. Like, I never knew somebody who actually begged for a job like this ever. <sighs> but, uh, anyway, you got the job, Mr. Blinkle. Teach these little brats. Please let them learn something. God damn it. Ooh, with pleasure. So, see you brats later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Blinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Principal Steinbeck. I think I can take it from here. Hey there, kids. I'm your old pal, Mr. Blinkle, and I'm so excited to be your new summer school teacher. Who needs to be outside running through the sprinklers? The, the problem is, and you know, like, what makes this worse is that, bro, half of these kids are kindergartners, bro. Like, this is flat out sick, bro. This is, like, this is, like, horrendously bad. Like, like, this is, like, atrociously bad, bro. Like... Like, bro, half of these kids are kindergartners. Oh, my God, that is bad. You're getting all wet and shiny like, when you could be in here with me huh? learning. Now wet and shiny, nah. Nah, 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 that's criminal. Tell me your ages. I, I mean names, but also your ages and your addresses and when your parents go to work and come home. Actually, how about you all just write it down and put it on my desk, and then I can drive all of you home. Okay, this assignment's a lot easier. Yeah, this is super easy. Guys, does Mr. Blinkle look kind of familiar to you? Cody, I think I would remember someone wearing a fake mustache and glasses and nose. Yeah, yeah, he's just, he's just weird, yeah. Oh, what's this? A spanking paddle? <laughs> your old teacher knew what she was doing. I thought I was gonna have to stop by the store and pick one of these up. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Uh, Cody, you mind looking up for me? What? Thanks, got it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Guys, Mr. Blinkle just took a picture of me. Well, maybe it's for yearbooks. But, Junior, there are no yearbooks in summer school. Well, maybe he's trying to put names to faces and that helps him remember. <clears throat> maybe. I just finished the assignment, so I'm done for the day. All right, Mr. Blinkle, I'm done with my assignment. You don't have to drive me home. I can just walk. No, 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 no. You need to stay. But you told me after I was done, I could go home. But we have a big group assignment coming up at the end of class. It's a group hug, a big old, big old group hug. Can I skip that? No, no, it's mandatory. It's a mandatory hug. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 J Junior? It says here your dad's a stay-at-home dad? Yeah, he doesn't have a job. Oh, that sucks. That is very disappointing. Okay, that's fine. I'm not really that into redheads anyway. Oh, no, my mom's dead, I think. Oh, okay. Bro! This is insane, dude. This is insane, but this is funny. Everybody hurry hell. up with those papers. God, nah, the new dude. teacher's kinda nice. He wants us all to hug after class. He's still kinda weird. He's got a big nose. Dude, don't make fun of the Jewish like that. I think you just did. I need to go you ask just the did, yeah. a question. I like to announce when I'm getting up from my desk. Hurry up, kids. When you're done, we can go to the gym and hit the showers. Hey, Mr. Blinkle, can I talk to you in private? Yes. Yes, you can. Where do you want to talk? In the closet? Or maybe out in the hallway or in the bathroom? Or maybe we can talk out in my car? Or at my house? Yeah, we should talk at my house. Because the walls are completely soundproof, so no one will be able to hear us. Not even the neighbors. It'll be extra private. No, right here's fine. I just didn't want to be really loud and you're kind of yelling. Oh, well, what did you want to talk about? Well, this famous streamer I follow has been sending me really inappropriate stuff, like pictures of himself, and he's been really weird, so I just thought I should talk to an adult about it. Ew! Get out of my face! I don't want somebody else's sloppy s- 
Is this a shot at like what's been going on like the past couple months? You know, with SML YouTubers. Is this a shot at them, bro? Is this a shot? Is that what I think it is? No way, man. That's disgusting. Okay. Ugh. I gotta start being a streamer. They just have it too easy. I miss the good old days when all you had was a van full of candy and a dream. Did you ask the teacher your question? He didn't seem interested in my problem. Hey guys, should I throw a paper ball at the teacher? That'd be fucking hilarious, Junior. A real hoot. A real you want hoot? Me to throw it? What? I can drop fucking bombs, Junior. I can make it rain on that hoe. I'm like Tom Brady Junior. Give me that thing. Yeah. Yeah. So damn good. You deserve this. Oh, Cody, you missed. Well, I guess I'm not Tom Brady. I guess I'm some other quarterback that's bad at throwing. I don't know. I don't know sports. I'm going to make another paper ball. Matt Schwab? What? Is that one Matt Schwab? <laughs> I, I, I guess I've heard of that. Well, I guess I'm Matt Schwab. All right, I, I'm going to hit him right in the head. I hit the Are you Matt Schwab? Dude, just give me the ball. I'll throw it like Michael Vick. Are you going to kill a bunch of dogs? Yeah, I'm going to get the job done. He though. hit the camera, Here's yeah. Here's my paper. Oh my god, you're a mustache fan? Oh, man, it's Mr. Winkle! What a pervert! Uh, uh, <laughs> that's right, it's me. No, nobody tried to follow me, or I'm gonna stab her with this pencil and she'll get lead poisoning. Well, they actually make it with- Okay, well, the only one who actually gives a shit here is Bully, so it's Bully's job. Everyone else could just go home at this point if you're gonna be selfish about Breath it. I mean, I but still, know. it'll hurt really bad. Come on. You know, it would be really cool if you told the principal I quit and that I didn't kidnap a student. Come on! Oh, that was a close one. Yeah, dude, he almost got our ass. I mean, he did take a student. Who's Mr. Winkle? Dude, you don't want to know. But I do, though. You know EDP-445? Yeah. He's like the white skinny version of him. Yeah, the white twin, dude. Oh. <laughs> I'm even more mad, you can tell by my tone. <clears throat> no! <laughs> Why does it happen to me? Principal Steinbeck! Oh! I, I think it's about time you teach the class, bro. Yeah, yeah. Another one bites the dust. <clears throat> Another one bites the dust. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look, class, your teacher quit. Another one. Oh, I guess it is your lucky day, since I can't find a second teacher just wandering around outside. It was nothing but homeless people I tried. But look, I will have a teacher for you tomorrow. Yes, he will be meaner and more angrier and eviler than me. <laughs> I love it all. Craig? But if I can't, oh, I, I have to teach the class by myself. I will. I promise you I will. And you won't like it because I bite. <clears throat> I'm not nice. So. Oh my God, bro. If they put Stein back as the teacher, it's actually raps for the league, uh, bro. I guess classes. <laughs> Dismiss. Oh, get out of my face. I don't want to see you guys anymore. <sighs> Yay! We get to go home early. Hey, Joseph. I'm never going to forgive you for breaking my gun, Jenny Quill. And what the hell are you going to do about it, fuck boy? Not a damn thing but cry to your mama. Huh? Huh? That's what I thought. My mom's dead. Oof. That's rough. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um... Wow, congratulations. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please have a like, subscribe, as always. Um, yeah, this was super fun, and I can't wait to see Steinbeck teach the class in part three. So, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.